Hey guys and girls. Well, I finally bought a new light from Fluval. So, I want to give you a review and a comparison. Fish are doing good. Uh, everything is doing good. So let me give you a comparison of this light. I apologize for the water being a little messy if you see stuff. I just fed them, so there's a couple things floating around and obviously they love digging up my java fern. Anyway, <clears throat> so that is the Fluval Marine and Reef LED, and I have that on the left, okay? And on the right is the Aqua Sky that I already did a review on. So I'm going to compare uh, the two lights right now, and I'll show you how the new uh, Marine and Reef LED from Fluval works, and we'll get into it. So basically, as you can see, the two daylight settings are on. I personally prefer the AquaSky daylight settings. I think the light coming down through the water is a little better for what I want. And the lighting coming down from the marine and reef LED is a little darker. Which I also like, but I prefer the AquaSky uh, daylight settings. All right, now let's show you the nighttime. However, the nighttime, I prefer the marine and reef LED, which unfortunately my stupid ass is doing this in the daytime, so you really can't tell the light because it's in the daytime. However, I bet you, you could see on that brown rock a little purplish type blue. And if you see in the left bottom corner, the little purple blue type color. On the right, the aqua sky, you could barely see the moonlight. Which if this was done at night, which I should have did and I didn't, it would probably it would be a little it would be a light blue moonlighty type color, which is pretty much what you want for an aesthetic to your tank. However, I prefer the blue moonlight which is a little more deeper in color on the marine and reef LED the one I just purchased hmm. so let me show you what this light does so looking straight down into the tank you can see the color a little better see how that's blue purple I like that deep color especially at night it's sick and on the other one the aqua sky you can see the light is a very light blue, which is probably realistic uh, moonlight coloring. If you were underwater, you know, on a clear moon night. But I prefer the darker color for what I'm looking for in my tank. So I have both of them here: Aqua Sky, Marine LED, and Marine and Reef LED. Unfortunately, when I bought this, I did not know that. Well, I, did, I didn't know, and the guy told me that the, it came with a Wi-Fi adapter for the Marine uh, and Reef LED light. I didn't know it wasn't included in the box. So at this time, I, don't, I can't show you how to work it from the phone because I don't have it. I have to go pick it up. And my girlfriend doesn't want me to pick it up because she wants to get it for my birthday, so you got to wait a, little, a couple day, uh, a couple weeks. But anyway, you could see right there is the, the blue LED light. And then right there on the aqua sky, you see the blue LED light. So how you control this, it's actually very simple. Not a piece of food get up there. Anyway, here's the button right here, and it's a touch bar. You don't have to press it. All you do is touch it. And it's dimmable. So you see my light is really dimmed down right now. And then you can see I'm increasing the light. You can see the LED. See how bright that's getting? That's pretty cool, right? It's pretty neat. Look how dark that is. Hmm? This blue is really lo sick looking at night. It's really nice. It's 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 just a perfect color that I want for the nighttime. So to basically operate it, you just touch this button here. That's off. Red means off. Touch it again, and this is the daytime coloring. So you can see right there, all the lights are on. And that's the daytime, which is not bad. 
a little too bright, but again, this is not for a cich cichlid. It's more for uh, reef and stuff. But I like it, and it's dimmable. Look at that. Look at this. Isn't that nice? Dims right down. It's still on, but it's dimmable. See? So you could increase the brightness, which is good. Get it to the setting you want. That's the blue. And it's not a bad light. I mean, it cost me about, I don't know, 150 maybe. Another piece of food. 150. Not too bad. This one costs 100, 100 bucks maybe. And I uh, apologize for the dirt up here. It's from the lake salt that I was putting in. But uh, not too bad. I mean, to be honest with you, <laughs> depending on what you want and depending on what you're looking for, you can go with either one. Sometimes I use the the aqua sky because it comes with the remote and it's and i don't want to get off the couch or i like the lighting better and then at night i might put on the blue lighting which is actually better for the plants and stuff so you know i mix and match them i have two different lights on here i'm really happy with both of them and uh that's about it on, on that I, when i get the wi-fi adapter i will show you how to use that and maybe i'll do another video to show you the difference in the nighttime which I'm sure a lot of you guys would want. So here's what it's called. Fluval C. 25,000 um, lumens. Marine and reef LED. And as you can see here. It's a high performance multi-spectrum LED system. Six band waves. Which is three dimming, wave, you know, three dimming bands on the way up and down. Each uh, setting. Um... It also is waterproof, obviously, but <clears throat> directions are on the back, real simple. It gives you all your brightnesses, your brightnesses, and then you could see right there, if I could get it to zoom in. I just came back from work, so I apologize. If I can get this to zoom in, or unzoom, maybe, there we go. See, it says Wi-Fi compatible. So basically, is a little box, which looks like that right there which I didn't notice at the first the first time I thought it was in the box and my stupid ass is looking at this comparing it with this where is it up here saying oh look Wi-Fi oh cool all right and I didn't I looked right past this sold separately so not bad but the lighting is nice it's not bad lighting I like it um, it's, it's unique. I can't wait to get the, uh, the Wi-Fi adapter so I could program it from the phone because I'm pretty sure and I actually think I saw this on Fluval's website. I'm not 100% on that. That you can control it better, uh, than the dimming, uh, manually on the unit itself. So let's just say, for example, I know this is probably not accurate, but let's say, for example... I wanted to get the brightness down as low as possible and I could only go so much with the manually uh, button, the manual button, but maybe supposedly I could get lower if I had it on the Wi-Fi because supposedly it is like a, like a tuner on, on the app. So when I get the app and I get the, the, the unit and I hook it all up, I'll go through another video on that and, and actually show you how to use the app. This is pretty self-explanatory as far as out of the box. It's just a simple little button and you just got to touch it. You don't have to press hard and you just hold your finger for the dim like so. And it'll dim to what you want. And that's pretty cool. And that's pretty much it on this video. So thanks for watching. Um, I got some other stuff coming up. I'm sorry for the rush. Uh, if you got comments, please leave them. And I will do an upgrade on the nighttime. And I just wanted to get this out to you guys.